Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, after completing DC analysis of FET, we will move forward for AC analysis of FET. But before moving forward for AC analysis of FET, we'll have to complete the different modes of FET that are nothing but CD mode, common drain, common source that is CS mode, common gate that is CG mode. So we'll learn all the three modes, their aspect on the basis of application, on the basis of characteristics and lot more. Let's see how it works. Before jumping into the all modes of FET amplifier, we'll have to learn why this common term is included in this common source, common gate and common drain and all this stuff, right? Why, why common, right? First of all, keep this in mind that in the two port network, whenever we go for the amplification, we have to have two port network. That means, if this is the black box for me as an amplifier and this will work as an amplifier it will be having one output term and another input term and both are connected with respect to something right if i say that you have got 17 marks and i have got 15 marks then both 15 and 17 should be with respect to 20 right so then and only then i can say that your percentile is something and my percentile is something and that is on the basis of the maximum marks right so in the same way what we are doing this is the input side and this is your output side right so whatever input i am applying that should have some particular reference voltage and generally we take that reference voltage as zero volts but it is not full proof so we will take one terminal which is common and on the basis of that terminal we will say that this is whether common source whether common drain whether common gate amplifier in the form of bjt as well as fat so in bjt we have learned uh, cc that is common collector common base and common emitter so here we will learn common source common drain and common gate modes of fat Understanding the concept of this common term is very important for Viva perspective. Let's come to the point of this common source. Now when I will decide that the circuit which is given is of the type common source then I have to know that at the source terminal neither input nor output is connected right. So I can name this as so I will name this as source terminal which is connected to both input as well as output in the form of a reference terminal. In the earlier statement, I have said that source is neither connected to input nor at output, right? That means this source is taken as a reference terminal. So whenever I want to calculate the value of input, I will take this as a reference. So this is your V input whenever i want to calculate the value of output i will take the reference of source and then i will be getting the value of output right now here we will take one example on the basis of this black box right how to draw that circuit i will keep this area empty right and we have to draw we have to analyze which terminal should be connected to which part this is input say that this is source this is gate and this is your drain part as we all know that the symbol of jfate is nothing but like this yes so this is how we will connect our two port network in this way obviously there will be some resistances will be connected depending on the biasing technique that we have learned in dc analysis 
this is the output voltage that we will be getting now we will do the namakaran for that output voltage unlike this output voltage we will do the namakaran here that is v between d drain and source so we'll say it's ds this is your vgs right and here we will be getting the value of the drain current that is id obviously gate current is zero and that is why in the dc analysis and the characteristics whatever we have learned we are not mentioning it as input characteristics rather than that we are mentioning it as voltage transfer characteristics so this is how we have learned the common source we will jump towards the characteristics and applications of common source amplifier The first application that we get is second is low output impedance first is high input impedance second is low output impedance third one is <coughs> high power gain and this high power gain is coming from moderate voltage gain and moderate current gain generally this current gain is infinity for FET this is very very important because ig is equal to zero so if we take the ratio of output current with respect to input current that is gate current then we'll be getting infinite so very very it's very very high amount of current gain that we'll be getting and the sixth one is we'll be getting high bandwidth bw is bandwidth we'll learn the applications of it The one and only important applications that we find as amplifier, especially voltage amplifier. So these are the characteristics of CS mode. Let's jump towards the CG mode. As we've already learned the black box concept, two port network concepts and why common is there, we can easily draw the circuit for common gate amplifier. This is a sketch for your two port network. I'll keep this as empty and now my gate is common, right? So this is your gate, this is your source and this is your drain, okay? From symbol of JF8, I have to have this symbol. If you are considering N channel JF8, and this is how we will be getting the value of input voltage that is nothing but VSG negative to VGS, and here we'll be getting the value of VDG as your output. Your current gain here is 1, unity always because drain current and source current is always and always 1 as gate current is equal to 0. So this completely controlled by this VSG, okay. So this common gate we have learned and now it's a time to learn the characteristics of CG mode. Here we will mention that. gate is common that is gate terminal is common let's move towards the characteristics of common gate mode first characteristics that is low input impedance but not as that of 
in the BJT that we have learned. High amount of output impedance, low current gain, generally it is 1, just now I, we have discussed. Fourth one is high voltage gain. Fifth one is moderate power gain. Because generally whatever voltage gain that we get is same as that of power gain because current gain is equal to 1. Okay. Sixth one is very high bandwidth. This is very important when we go for the multi-stage amplifier, cascode amplifier. So we will take an own note in this characteristics as use in cascode amplifier. Though it is not especially used as an amplification purpose, it can be used in cascade with another type of another mode of the circuit of an amplifier and then we can say that it's an multi-stage amplifier. So this cascode amplifier is a type of multi-stage amplifier that we'll learn in the special video. We will go for the applications of This is used for buffer or impedance matching. Second is switching application. So we have completed successfully about common gate mode. Make a note of each and every characteristics. We will prove these characteristics when we will do analysis, AC analysis of each and every mode of amplifier. Let's do for third type, third mode of FAT that is CD mode, right? Take a pause and try to draw the common drain in the form of two port network input voltage input current output voltage output current and with the symbol of j fate try to do that take a short span of time and then come back So this is the circuit, almost all the things you have drawn it, right? But you may have mistaken by taking this particular direction. Keep this in mind that whatever direction of j fate current is, it's from drain to source. So always and always current will flow from drain to source only. But as far as this two port network is considered, we have to have IO which is in opposite direction to that of ID right that may be remaining in your part let's move towards the characteristics of common drain mode of FET amplifier before coming to the characteristics again we'll have to mention that this is drain is common that is a reference point for input and output First characteristic, high input impedance, high output impedance, 
third one less voltage gain high current gain almost infinity because ig is equal to zero ie and ig is nothing but the ratio of your output current to input current that is nothing but the current gain and that has to be infinity because ig is equal to zero chalo power gain power gain is moderate So even though this high current gain is tending towards infinity, I will be having less voltage gain. That's a compensation with high current gain to get the moderate power gain, right? Then the bandwidth is less over here. Bandwidth is less in this case. Now let's have the importance of high input impedance. This high input impedance is required to have applications such as buffer. buffer circuit or it can be used for impedance matching this also can be used for switching application low voltage gain which indicates that this indicates that the value of output voltage to input voltage is equal to nearly equal to 1. If it is nearly equal to 1, I can say that this VO is nearly equal to V in. Now in this case, what is the value of VO? VO is nothing but Vs, right? And V in is nothing but Vg, right? So source voltage is following the gate voltage and that is why the circuit is also called as source follower so we'll do the another namakaran for cd mode that is called as source follower as same that of in bjt we have learned emitter follower in cc mode so here we will stop for this particular session in the next upcoming sessions we will do ac analysis of all the types of modes of fet amplifier thank you so much for watching this particular video if you like share this particular video and comment on this particular video as well you have to subscribe ikeda channel don't forget that thank you